Might as well do some recording today. It is, uh, it's Wednesday. Well, uh, we got, it's probably, it is not probably, it is six in the afternoon. I didn't record anything yet today because I've been on the bunk, but I need to get in today's film. So there's a little bit of new updates. As you can see right there, the 74 is on the bunk. Um, the front left differential locked up on the MX. Yeah, it went in. This morning we were gonna go cover bunk and I went to drive it and I heard it go. So uh, oh, the that instantly shows you that something's not right in the front and I looked. When, uh, I picked the front end up to try driving it. Uh, that side is seized. So before we grenaded it or hurt it anymore, because uh, it would rotate under the weight, but that's useless. Uh, we just parked it. So Marcus is driving the 74, packing. We got Ryan here. He's giving the old thumbs up. He's done his job, so he came and helped us. Probably gonna give the camera to one of the truck drivers, and they can go show you what's going on out in Richford. Maybe I'll give it to Alex, because Ferdy has done some recording, Gerhardt's done some recording. I don't think Philip wants to talk into the camera. <laughs> but I think Alex will. So we're gonna give her the camera if she knows it or not yet, or likes it or not. So we'll tune in with who's ever next. We are to the back here. We got Alex rolling in. Marcus moved over, she's gonna dump here. How's the trucking? Good, the flaggers are really happy with us. Sounds like sarcasm. No, it's not. <laughs> Professional trucking. We'll get our dump into.
east, but not. Nice corn. Got Packer Ryan here. She's dumping. I better get back to it. Next truck's coming. We got Marcus right here. He's doing like 1.5 miles an hour. This thing has an air compressor on it. That's what you just heard there. He's getting out of the way. I was going to point him to go to the middle. You got to go to the middle. Yeah, over there. He 
He's gonna come over here. I'll put this load here. That thing straight pipe. That kid's hammering it. Yeah, I better get back to her. We got Philip here. He's trucking. That white truck's pretty dirty with all this dust. And then they just drive up there to turn around. They drive right through the grass and gone. So it's basically, once this bunk gets filled to here, this is a one-way road. Normally because trucks are meeting each other sometimes there, so it's just a pain. Like, like I just said, next truck's here. Can't get out for two seconds. I didn't record, I had to hurry up and get that load out of the way. But uh, Matt's dumping now. I told Marcus to stay right on top. Normally he does when the load comes, but that's kind of why you just see him sitting there. That way uh, I can just push wherever. And he's kind of starting now on this side and he'll work back over. And Ryan is, well, you could see him right under the dump there for a second. Ryan's right there. And I'll kind of push this load to the middle in that way. And then the next load will kind of get dumped here and I'll fill this hole in. Matt didn't want to drive up the hill, so he could turn sharp enough with this truck to where he can just detour it right away. He's getting the next load. Hammering out some pushing. Ryan, I had him push up at the heifer barn one day. So he's pushed probably a total of like four hours. But that was at the half a burn, so the loads were coming really slow. Did you want up the middle of that or to the right? Um, let me push this left side of the load and then you can come over by Marcus and then back. Because I want to put that to the right after. Um, what was I saying? So he's pushed for like four hours, so he doesn't really push it in the corn, which is fine since, since I have the blade, I can. I can really keep up most of the time by myself. Like there was seven trucks running yesterday, six today, and I can basically keep up myself. I cannot keep up packing. That's why there's always another person, minimum one. It is nice having at least two up here just packing. It's kind of why Mark is up here just doing his little thing because his little thing is actually a big thing in the end. Man, we got some packing going on. It's going nice with three tractors. I mean, I, hopefully you can, the camera's picking up, but that right there is how we like it looking. Now, normally we don't have enough people driving to be able to do that all the time, and it's normally pretty fluffy, and we do the best we can, but when we can get the people to drive, enough people together, it is, that's how you want it looking, and it's looking fine. We even got Marcus, he's just, he's doing like one and a half miles an hour, just creeping, but he is like our, topper like he's just making sure it's perfect for being that young he's very precise on it which is nice uh, you want him doing it right right away and not have to teach him later again so he is just moving over a little bit and I don't really know how to explain it any better than that but there's not too much to it but just the creeping creeping She may not be as heavy as this tractor or that one, but still makes a big dent in it. Next truck's coming. We got Alex here hammering out another load. We got Marcus right there. He knows what he's doing. He may be young, but he sure ain't dumb. I think Alex had to put her in a... Uh, uh, she's just going slow to make sure it all slides out. Oh, I didn't take a, a little slide away. You can't see it at all. I can't. I didn't take a hump away. It was too far up and I forgot about it because trucks are cranking. Probably can't see me, but I'm going to be ending the video anyways. 
I uh, just pushed up the last load, Bertie just brought it. Uh, Ryan and me are just packing right now a little bit and we'll be ending it for today. So that'll be the end of this video. So hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm trying to every day get someone else to record or something else different. So hopefully you guys are liking it. Um, till the next one.